Hi everyone, today we continue to read the book The Creator Club Liz and the Noisy Neighbor. Chapter 4, Liz's Secret. Liz had the Monday morning blues. Sometimes that's how it was after a great weekend. She had a fun, she had fun with her friends on Friday night. On Saturday, Liz's mom took her sock shopping. She found some of polka dots and crazy stripes. On Sunday, Liz had gone to the park with her dad and brother. Stuart had even let Liz hit a few baseballs. Usually her only job was to retrieve the ball Stuart hit. Liz signed. She just didn't feel ready for school. She hadn't even decided on an animal for the science project. Flying squirrel, Komodo dragon, Platypus. Liz loved unique animals, but none of them seemed right. What did you pick? Ellie asked as they sat down in Mrs. Sienna's classroom. Without thinking, Liz blurted out. You have to wait and see. She grinned as if she knew a secret. It wasn't a lie, exactly, but it wasn't honest either. Mrs. Sienna took attendance. As she did, there was a knock on the classroom door. She opened it and stepped into the hallway for a minute. Then she came back in. Mrs. Back in. Mrs. Sienna asked for everyone's attention. We have a new student today, she announced. Liz looked at Ellie, Amy, and Marion. We know who it is, Liz thought. Sure enough, and walked in Dylan. Mrs. Sienna introduced him to the class. Then she assigned him the empty desk behind, right behind Liz. Dylan took his seat. Liz turned around to wave. Hi, neighbor, she whispered. Dylan didn't smile, but maybe he was nervous. After all, it was his first day. The class began their morning math. Later on, they went to gym. Then they had quiet reading time. During reading, Mrs. Sienna started calling students up one by one. Uh, oh, thought Liz. She's asking everyone for their animal. Quick, just decide. Ardavarak, Narwhal, Angelfish? It feels even harder to choose now. Liz could hear what her classmates were saying to the teacher. Shamira was doing rattlesnakes. Olivia had picked wi- whistles. Liz didn't want to choose an animal that someone else was doing. Her choices were dwindling. Just then, the lunch bell rang. I'll meet with the rest of you after recess, Mrs. Sienna said. Have a good lunch. Liz saw her chance. She wanted to talk to Miss Sienna without anyone around. So she stayed seated as her classmates filled out. When the room was quiet, Liz went up to the teacher's desk. Mrs. Sienna, she said nervously, I can't give you my animal choice yet. The teacher looked surprised. I have thought about it a lot, Liz added. I just haven't come up with it, with the perfect one. Mrs. Sienna gave her sympathetic a sympathetic smile. Well, Liz, she said gently, I can give you more time. But there's no right or wrong here. Just choose an animal that interests you. We can talk about it again tomorrow, okay? Liz nodded and signed with relief. I'm sure you'll find your inspiration, Mrs. Sienna said. Just keep thinking and keep your eyes open. A great idea might be right in front of your nose. Liz headed for the door. As she turned, she jumped a little startled. Dylan was there, there, sitting at his desk. He was, he had his nose in a book. But as Liz walked out, Dylan got up. He walked over to Mrs. Sienna. Had he been sitting there the whole time? Because it's so. Liz screamed. She had heard everything. He had heard everything. Bye.